Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. Um, in today's video, we're going to keep talking about uh, tides and aliases. Um, so let me start by sharing the development environment. So here we are. Uh, we are inside MLflow tides and aliases folder, in which we are using one of the latest versions of MLflow. Um, during the last video, I show you how to uh, set a model version tag, how to update a model version tag, and how to delete a model version tag. But I didn't show you how to uh, retrieve a model version tag, right? Because let's say that we have a model and a model version, and we want to know which tags are associated to that model. Well, in that case, I have to use this method, right? Uh, get um, model version, right? By alias, no, we haven't talked about alias yet. Only get model version, right? And we specify the name of the registered model and the version of that model. Um, I'm going to create this variable and print model version, right? So I'm going to run this code. Python getting started, right? And I know that, for example, these uh, tags it says model status validation equals to validation. Now let's say that I am interested on the version two. Well, in that case, I should say something like ready for production. You're ready for production, right? So let's say that I want to access that dictionary. I can use something like this, right? Okay. So with this, we are done with uh, tags. Now you know how to um, set a tag. Uh, update the tag, um, delete one, and also retrieve the tags that are associated to a given model. Now, let's talk about aliases. Now, there is an important difference between a tag and an alias. Um, if I use the client, I can set a register model alias. So, look at this notation. Here, we were setting a model version tag. And as you can see from the UI, uh, different versions can have the same tag, right? Model status here, model status here. But now, um, unlike the model, oh, sorry, unlike tags, the alias has to be set at the registered model level, right? Which means that I can have only Basically, I cannot have, let's say, the same alias for different uh, versions, right? So, let me show you this with the UI, maybe. I'm going to create an alias here, let's say, alias1, no, something like, something like different, something like this, champion, right? I'm going to create this alias, champion. Now, let's say that I want version 2 to be champion. I'm going to do this, right? Now, look at this. The champion alias is also being used on version 1. Adding it to this version will remove it from version 1. So as you can see, I only can have one version with you know, the alias um, that I named champion, right? And that's very useful because uh, in that way, I can use a method like get model version by alias, right? So let's say that I am only interested on um, the champion, right? Uh, well, I can always retrieve uh, that model using the alias, right? Ready for production, right? Now, let's go to the interface and I'm going to delete this uh, alias that I created using the interface and I'm going to um, create the alias or set the alias using the uh, SDK. So first, set register model alias, right? I had to provide the name of the registered model and the name of the alias. And let's say that I have an alias called champion, right? And champion, um, I, I can also specify the version, version 1, right? right? Um, give me a sec. So now, let's run this code. And we can see now the now version one is the champion, right? Now, let's say the 
um, I create a new version, new model version, and the new model version is a challenger, right? Well, I can create a new um, uh, alias called uh, challenger, right? And I specify that for the version 2, right? So if I refresh here, okay, I have the challenger. So we know that the version 1 is the, the champion. Um, version 2 is the challenger, right? I can also add more than um, one alias. So for example, let's say that I want the version 2 to be also a candidate, right? So let's say that I have an alias called candidate, right? Now, here, we can see that the model version 2 is the challenger and a candidate, right? So depending on the performance of these models, um, version 2 could be the next champion. So let's say that now I want to I want version 2 to be the champion. Well, in that case, I can do something like this, champion, and this action will remove champion alias from the version 1, as you can see here. And let's say that version 1 now is something like, I don't know, maybe archive. Let me run this code. So. As you can see, uh, this is even more flexible than the previous approach in which we were using uh, stages. Uh, here I have one, two, three, four, uh, let's say aliases, but I have more, much more aliases, right? Depending on uh, the workflow that the development team has established for the given project, right? So, okay, let's say that I am interested on in getting the champion, right? Well, in that case, I can use something like, um, uh, model version, right, and use client dot uh, get um, uh, register model now get model by alias. Yes, exactly. And let's say that I want the no, I want the champion. I want the version two, right? And let's print model version dot version. So we can see that is the version 2. Now, if I print the whole object, um, I can see that the aliases is a list, right? So let's say that I am interested in getting all the um, aliases. Sorry, since that is aliases. Aliases, right? We have candidate, challenger, and champion. Uh, okay, the last thing is uh, how can we delete aliases? Maybe we don't want, you know. Um, okay, this is the method, right? So delete registered model alias, right? And let's say that I'm interested in deleting the archive, right? I am not interested in um, having archive alias anymore. So I'm going to run this. And if I go to this, this should disappear soon. I hope. Okay, yes, it's gone, right? So that's basically everything for this video. Um, we saw how to set an alias or how to create an alias, how to update an alias, I mean, change the version, um, how to delete an alias. Um, how to retrieve a model uh, that is associated to uh, a specific alias. So that was everything for this video. Thanks for watching it, and I'll see you in the next one.